There are few tribal communities left in the world where matriarchal law is followed as their custom and one of the tribal community is called Kocha. They are native to North East India. There is a world where women and men enjoy equal rights in the society. It's hard to imagine for a patriarchy world where women have struggled throughout history. Kochas are a sustainable society. They are dependent on jhum cultivation and agriculture. Kocha women thanks God for the season's harvest. They take a little bit of rice plant as a tradition in their bamboo basket. a belief they tie the rice plant in their house in the hope of bringing prosperity and fortune <coughs> they are struggling to keep their traditions alive in today's age there are about 1,25,000 kochas left in the world, disintegrating with time. They are fighting against all odds to keep their culture alive. After the first harvest, they usually process their food. They donate a part of their food product to their society throughout the year to help the less privileged. Kosa jiti do, kaman na usab ganda, kosa bisag masay, kosa sin par bangin ganda, kosa usab palayaman. Jar day layman, kaman ma chang do ato do umanda joma joma layman kosa lahayman ba kosa sikari gasiman ganda kosa Ningkos itu ame husla, kinto ningji kos je tiap mai min leyo. Ambreng kinto angtu utung, angtu nengar mana, angtu kos kerjuk muda tu kem tering kapca, ang iba kem tering min sah utung ang. Kokrajhar district is the place where kochas are mainly found. Kochas believe that the district of Kokrajhar has been named after Kokrek Farm. There are many tribes in Kokrajhar and Kochas being one of them have contributed immensely to the society.
Kocha celebrate a spring festival called Saint Bar in between the month of March and April. Their main delicacy, known as Mai Pujung Bokok, which is mainly sticky rice roasted in a specific bamboo. History becomes legend, legend becomes myth, something should not be forgotten. Hey!